Okay, engineers, we are going to learn how to subtract mixed numbers today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read this, these directions, and it says here that we need to use a model to find the difference, okay? So we're going to use a model to find the difference. That's what we're going to do. Why? Because we're engineers. All right, guys. So... Before we do anything, we got to make sure that we have like denominators. And so I always have a habit of rewriting the problem. Um, so let me go ahead and get started on that. Let's write down 3 and 5 sixths minus 2 and 1 third. Now, the problem is 1 third does not match the denominators just don't match. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to think, hmm, what does it take to get this 3 to turn into a 6? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply times 2. Okay, so whatever we do on the top, we have to do on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and come down here and I'm going to say that I'm just going to go ahead and erase this right here to save some space. Nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to rewrite it down below. So I'm going to go um, 2, oops, come back here, 2, and 1 times 3 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. And then we have the rest of our problem here. Now, the directions told us to use a model. So we're going to use a model. Um, let's come over here, and let's start with 3 and five sixth. So I have three holes. One, two, three, and then here comes our five sixth. And because our denominators are the same, I can go ahead and just put three on that side, three on that side, and you'll notice that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and take, and I'm going to color in five sixths of these. So I'm going to go ahead and color in this right here. Okay, I'm going to color this guy right here. This is my third one. This is my fourth one. And this is my fifth one, okay? But the problem says I have to take two and two sixths away. So I'm gonna go ahead and take away, this is the first one I'm gonna take away. Okay. And I'm gonna take a second one away. All right. And then I have to take away two of the two sixths. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Kind of clean out that pie shape right there. And I'm going to clean out that pie shape right there. Okay. And I still have in my model, I still have one and three sixth. Okay. Now, if I want to simplify this, we know that we can factor out uh, three. Okay. We can factor out three and we can come up with um, three divided by 3 over 3, and we can come up with 1, and so we know 6 divided by 3 is 2, okay? So this right here is how we create that model. Okay, engineers, so I do not want to leave you high and dry. I want to take two of the most difficult ones here, and I want to provide you with a little bit of direction, okay? So let's start with this one right here, okay? So this one is six minus four and three quarters, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is, let's give us a little more space here. And let's see if I can, there we go, that'll work. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this in a typical uh, subtraction format. And so I'm gonna go six, and I'm gonna go minus four and three quarters, okay? Now, what's a little weird is 
what's going on right here, right? Okay, there's nothing for us to subtract. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment and we're going to regroup that six and we're going to pull a hole out of that six, okay? And so let's take a minute and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a whole lot of six. We know that five minus one, I'm sorry, six minus one is five. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go five. And we know that the denominator is four. And so we pull the whole out because remember, guys, four divided by four, whatever, you know, all fractions are division. Four divided by four is really one. Okay, and so... We have that. Now let's set ourselves up for success here. We're going to bring our four and three quarters over. Okay. And this should work out pretty well. Let's start with our fractions first. Four here minus three here is going to give us one. And we're going to keep our same denominator. And then five minus four is one. Okay, and so the answer to this is going to be one and a quarter, or one and one fourth. Okay, all right, engineers. So I'm not going to leave you high and dry. As I look at this work here, I'm thinking, you know what? This is probably the next one that my engineers would really appreciate me working with. And so the first thing we got to do is we've got to be able to take care of this denominator right here, okay, which will then affect that numerator right there, okay? And so what I'm going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, what does it take to get this 3 to turn into a 6 like the other denominators? Well, I think if we just multiply it times 2, multiply that times 2, okay, then we should be able to come up with, um, let me go back and change my color here, we should be able to come up with minus 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6, okay? And let me go ahead and clean up my work just a little bit here. I'm going to get rid of that now that we don't need it anymore, okay? And let's continue writing our problem. So I'm going to go 1 sixth, 1 minus five over six and seven. Now, I think it's a really good idea for us to just start with this guy right here, okay? I like to read from left to right, and sometimes we can do our math that way as well. So let's take a minute and figure out what is um, seven minus one. Well, seven minus one is going to be six. Okay, and what is 5 minus 1? Well, 5 minus 1 is 4 over 6, okay? And then now we have this leftover uh, number right here, so we're going to bring that back down, and we're going to go minus 2 over with 2 and 4 sixths, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys see this, but I am starting to see a possibility that 4 uh, four that this uh, four six right here is going to be subtracted by another four six, and I think that's going to cancel each other out. And so what is left over for us is going to be six minus two, which gives us four, and that is going to be our answer for this. All right, guys, I hope that helps.